Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Um, I'm a couple of days late with my weekly catch up on the paper version of my Celebrating 61 version, which I'm calling a paper patchwork. Let me show you um, what I've done so far. So this was the first week. We had in no particular order cooking, bees, flowers, slow stitching, historic sites, houses and gardens, garden and warmth. All things that make me happy, I need to come down a little bit. All things that make me happy, things that make me smile, things that I'm grateful for. Um, now I'm 61. So I'm actually on day, this is day 18. So I'm a little bit behind with doing my second week's worth of the paper version. So here's the, um, this is the fabric version. This is how this is coming on. There we go, yeah. Just to give you an idea of what I'm doing with that. And um, what I'm trying to do is reflect the colours of the fabric that I've randomly pulled out in the colours of the paper version. But for the paper version, I'm just writing the words in different kinds of lettering. And I'm using my Inktense pencils and uh, black and white paint pens or fine liners. So what I've done is I've already penciled out. So this is in no particular order. Um, these were just the prompts as I pulled them during the week and on the back I've written what colour it was. So this one's spices and this was on a lime green background. Foraging, museums, post, fragrance and veggies. Is that all? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing one. Okay so I've worked out which one is missing and I definitely did it because I remember exactly how I did it. So I'm just going to do it again. <laughs> so this one, this um, symbol is meant to be linked chains and it represented the internet for me, which is a huge, hugely important part of my life and something I think we all rely on. Maybe for some people more than we would like to, but for me, I just think it's a wonderful thing. And I think it's great that the internet is... Now, I can't remember the name of the guy. Oh, that's awful. I'm very proud that the guy who started the whole internet was was British and wanted it to be free to everybody. And um, I don't know if he would have realised at the time, could any of us have realised at the time, how massive a part of all our lives it would become. Yeah. And I love that you can still connect with people and it's still free. I mean, yes, you can spend a, you can spend a lot of money buying stuff and using services that you, you know, via, you know, online. Um, but essentially it's free. And I've certainly connected with people I never would have had the opportunity to know without the internet. Now I remember I did something like this. I went small at the top, big at the bottom, and I wrote into I bet this will turn up. I bet as soon as I've done it again, it will turn up. Oh, I'm trying to do this at arm's length, but it's a bit awkward. Into. And then I did net in big letters. And so the colour for that one will be that it's kind of deep, kind of, it's kind of a burnt orange almost colour. So, well, I'm going to do this one first. I just want to use one shade. I'm going to use two shades to make it more interesting. So rather than go for just an orange, I've gone for a tangerine and I've got some poppy red there as well, just to darken it up a little bit. And I've got um, a Posca paint pen. I might also use my um, Uniball Signo white pen. And I've got this fine liner in a 0.5 millimeter. So that's what I'm gonna use first, just to um, add my frame. up a fatter now I've got pigment micron in a in a 12 right, another thing I like to do a uh, sharpie's quite good for this something with a sort of fattish point is just um run it along the edge like this so it just gives a little black edge to it instead of the white so just when I put them all when I mount them all on a piece of 
Oh, that Sharpie stinks. Well, <laughs> well, I'll mount them all on a piece of white paper for a background later on. They'll kind of pop against it because of the black outline. There we go. So that's that. Get that off with isopropyl alcohol later. Um, and then I've got a little jar of water here. So I'm going to use my Inktense pencils. This is um, that I've cut into to these little pieces is um, hot press watercolor paper. So hot press means it's all nice, it's smooth. I don't for this kind of thing with this kind of small detail. I don't. I didn't want the texture, and um, and it because it's watercolor a paper. It means that if I use any wet media on it, whatever I decided to use, it would probably. It's quite heavyweight. It won't mind all the all the water. So. Yeah, I knew that whatever I decided to do would be kind of OK. And once I've done this, I may need to go back over again and um, darken up the letters, but we'll see. So with these Inktense pencils, you use them a bit like you use a watercolour pencil, but they're not watercolour, they're actually ink. So then when you activate them with water, the real vibrancy of the colours comes out. They're much... Um, much more vibrant than watercolour pencils would be. They don't look much until you've activated them. And you can blend them and lay them up and you can apply them straight off the paint off the pencil as well with the brush by using a wet brush on the pencil I'll show you in a minute. So now that I've um, got my colour down I've blended some of the orange and then gone towards red at the bottom. And once they've been activated, once they're wet and then they've been dried, they then become permanent. Whereas with watercolour pencils, they would still reactivate if they got wet again. As long as these have been completely wetted and allowed to dry, they will then be permanent. There we go. So I could go back in and do another layer later if I want to. What I'm going to do now is just add a bit more orange to the top. So um, I'm just going to take it straight off the kind of point of the pencil like this on my brush and apply it like a paint. See? So they're a really convenient way and um, I mean, if you just, you know, you could just use a, a water brush so that um, it's, it's all self-contained and you could just take a few pencils out with you. And uh, yeah, it's a very portable uh, medium, these Inktense pencils. I think they're lovely. Beautiful range of colours. There we go. That's internet done. <laughs> I might make that a bit more red as well. I just, I'm a, I'm a sucker for the bright colours. And then if I feel like it, I could add some dots of white later on to brighten it all up, but I don't know if I will with that. Okay, so that's that one done. I'm going to go through, I'm going to work through the rest of these and speed through and play a bit of music.
there we are I'm sort of done with them um, I need to wait for them to dry a little bit more because I'm finding that the the white pen doesn't really want to work over them at the moment and I think it's because it's still very slightly damp but I'm happy with the general look of it um, and I've gone back into some of the others because I liked the idea of adding this like a little oh, make it focus like a little faux stitching around it just to sort of remind myself that it started off as a quilt <laughs> and um and I quite liked the white dotting over the letter so I've gone back into some of the like this one one of the previous weeks and added those white dots and I'll probably go back and add that little faux stitching as well that'll become a recurring theme um as I go along so the black and white frame the little stitch detail and the white dots on the letters and that'll sort of pull them all together but I love, I love how they're looking actually I think it's quite cute <laughs> and it's extremely um easy to do don't have to think about it at all really <sighs> so quite chilled ready to do something else now <laughs> um oh yes look it's only lunchtime i've got a whole afternoon yet thanks very much for um watching i hope you enjoyed that and um thank you for your continuing uh, cheerleading and support to keep me going through this project <laughs> um by tomorrow I'll be a third of the way through so uh, yeah I can't believe how quickly it's going anyway um thanks very much again and I will see you again really soon bye <laughs>